What's up guys in this video what we're gonna do is um, to find the sum of first 10 numbers we're gonna use a while loop to do so so let's go ahead and get started for our new project and we're gonna name it as while underscore sum okay and let's just get get started uh, we're gonna say um, integer i okay equals to zero and integer sum equals to zero okay those are the two variables that we need uh, while loop and in the while loop we want to find the sum of first 10 numbers so what we're gonna do is sum oh not sum it should be i less than or equals to 10 okay we want to get the sum of first 10 numbers starting from 1 so 1 through 10 uh, so over here what we need to do is sum equals to i plus sum okay so um, after we are done with this we're gonna say i plus plus so that increases the value of i by 1 and console dot right line what we need to do is we're gonna say sum of first sum of um, we're gonna use this thing zero is one okay so the curly bracket zero means the first item after the comma we uh the value of that it should be displayed over here and the value of uh second thing after the comma should be displayed over here so as we go ho over here and see let's go ahead and just check what it's going to show us so we want to show i and then sum okay um debug and start without debugging and you're gonna get the sum of 11 is 55 and the reason for that is because over here when it increased the value of i it made it 11 and that caused this loop this condition to be false so 11 is not less than or equals to 10 uh, and that's the reason we get uh, 11 over here. So let's go ahead and just remove this. We don't want to use it. The sum of um, 10 number is, and we'll just remove this thing and make this as zero. Okay, debug, start without debugging, and we want to check everything looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and understand the execution of this uh, project so i'm gonna uh, put the breakpoint over here and let's start this so it's starting the application it it, it did go and and put initialize i as zero and the sum is zero you can see the value of sum is zero over here so uh let's go step by step and look what's happening it goes down it checks i is zero is zero less than or equals to 10 it says yes then we need to go in the loop here it says what's the value of i i is zero okay plus sum what is the value of sum it says zero over here okay so at this point i is zero and sum is zero okay now after that step the value of i becomes one so after the execution of this it's going to become one here we see it there so it goes back and check okay what's the value of i one is one less than or equals to 10 it says yes so it's going to go down it's going to go in the sum and says okay sum equals to What's the value of i now? It's 1. Okay. 1 plus. What's the value of sum? It was 0. So let me just go ahead and write down this value of uh, sum over here. Sum is equals to 0 at this point. Okay. And i is 1. And i equals to 1. 
all right so every time we go over here i'm going to change these two values so please keep an eye on those two numbers so let's go ahead get into it and it increases the value of uh, i after that step over here if you check the value of i is 2 so let's make it at, as 2 okay what's the value of sum the value of sum is 1 okay so let's go ahead and check the execution we go down okay one more step and now the value of sum is 1 and the uh, value of i is 2 so what is 1 plus 2 it's 3 so let's go in and then the value of sum would be 3 and after this statement the value of i would be 3 okay so let's go ahead and check if that's the case so we see i is 3 and sum is 3. Uh, it goes back in. Now the value of i is 3, i is 3 and sum is 3. So 3 plus 3, it's going to be 6. So the value of sum would be 6 and then it goes down. It increases the value of i. So now i is 4. We can check it over here. So i is 4. It goes back up. Check the condition is 4 less than equal to 10. Definitely it's less than equal to 10. It goes back in and now it's 6 plus 4. So the value of sum would be 10 and the value of i will be increased after this statement. So let's go and check what's the value of i. It's 5. Okay. So we change this 5. So this loop keeps on going by this way. And it's going to display the value of i at the end. So let's go ahead and uh, continue our application and check the output. There we go. It's sum of 11 is 55. Okay. So that's, that's our project. I hope you understood uh, what's going on in this project. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.